Well, yeah, actually, uh, Ben Franklin Apothecary in Duncanville was recognized as one of the uh, top 100 small businesses in America and named a Dream Big Blue Ribbon winner uh, by the U.S. Chamber of Commerce. Uh, it's uh, something we had, uh, I guess, applied for. And again, uh, the, out of the thousands and thousands of people that are signed up for that, we got uh, designated as one of the top 100 small businesses. So quite an honor for our staff and uh, for the team here at Ben Franklin. Casey, what are the criteria? What is this based on? You know, I mean, basically they look at community involvement. They look at, uh, you know, ultimately they do look at sales. You know, it does have to be a small business. They look at just your your performance, um, just strategic planning, um, community excellence. They look at also just, uh, you know, employees and, you know, uh, uh, as far as just the kind of that kind of stuff like that, you know, as far as retention and as far as just, you know, recognition and that kind of stuff. So they have quite a bit of a criteria that you have to fill out for that. Ben Franklin is such a cornerstone there in the Duncanville community, and I know this must make you really proud, and I know your employees must be proud as well. Oh, they're very excited. I'd say I called them on Friday. They were ecstatic when we found out, so very awesome honor. Okay, so you're among the 100 top small businesses in America, but there are still some mountains to climb here? Yeah, and what they do at this point, as a Blue Ribbon winner, Ben Franklin is automatically entered into the running for the U.S. Chamber of Commerce Community Excellence Award. And it is an online public vote, and it highlights, again, one of the um, top 100 businesses, and we get to, you know, hopefully we'll be able to represent the region. But if you go on to benfranklinrx.com, or actually you could visit the U.S. Chamber's main website as well. They'll have a link on there uh, for people to go on and vote online. And it does end on March, so- uh, March 4th, so we encourage people to, uh, to vote soon. And that voting is based entirely on input from the public? On public voting, yeah. You could actually, you could designate any business you want on there, and there's a place for you to also put comments as well. So, and we would appreciate the the support for Ben Franklin. And I understand there's also some regional awards that will be given out. Is that separate from the public voting? It's. It's it's all part of the same thing. What they do is they take the top 100 and then they break it down into seven regional finalists. So out of the 100, they'll break it down to seven. And then ultimately in June during the Small Business Summit in Washington, D.C., they'll announce the, uh, the top winner for the Community Excellence Award. And Casey, as a, a successful small business owner here in North Texas, I guess just the recognition and, and, and being honored for what you do in the community and what you do at your business every day, I mean, that just has to feel really good. Oh, absolutely. I mean, we consider it a privilege to serve this entire region, uh, and definitely to get this type of award and recognition was huge. I mean, it just says a testament, a huge testament of what our, our store staff does here, just the passion that they have for serving our community.